Hey, this is Mikey, and another After Effects tutorial. We're going to be playing around with the mosaic effect. And what we're going to do is we're going to add a few effects with some special uh, expressions. And then what we can do with that is just duplicate. And you can see it automatically will create this effect where depending on how bright or dark the image is, the mosaic is bigger or smaller. Really, really cool. So I'm going to get started. I'm going to have, I've got this satellite dish movie. And this is something that Joe over at Workbench created. Uh, it's really cool looking. He's got a whole explanation of how he did it. And he's one of the partners of mine over at Element Supply Company. And we build tools together. So I know him quite well. Highly recommend his channel. Go check out his stuff. So what I'm going to do is I've got this satellite dish. And the first thing I'm going to do is just, I'm going to pre-compose this just so that I can go in and add any other footage to it later. And then it's all dynamic that way. So let's just call this footage. Okay, and so the three things we're gonna add to this, one of them is not needed, but it's kind of a cool look, um, is first we're gonna add mosaic, and then we're gonna add extract from the keying menu and grid. So let's actually put the extract at the bottom and turn these off for now until we get it where we need to. How Mosaic works, and I've talked about this in the in the other tutorial I did about Legos, is you can see the horizontal blocks versus vertical blocks. It evenly splits up so that it there's no like half blocks hanging off the edge. And so how I want to do this is I want them to be perfect squares. And so in order to do that, I'm going to 16 by nine, right? And that's a perfect square, but Here's the thing is we're going to now duplicate this and two things are going to happen when we duplicate this. It's going to one, divide these in half so that there's now four squares for every square. So instead of 16 by nine, it'll be 32 by 18. And then it's going to remove some of them so they don't show up. And that's what the extract is for. So let's turn on extract. And what I want it to do is I want to remove based on how many pieces of footage are in here, how many layers there are. So if there's two layers, I want the one on top to remove the top half of the luminance. If there's three layers, I want it to, the one on top to remove the top third, the second one to remove the top two thirds so that it's, it's even. And so how we're gonna do that is with some expressions. So what I wanna do is in this extract right there with the white point, you can see what this is doing is I bring this down, it starts to remove some of the layers, right? So in half, you know, 128 or whatever it is, um, is where I want it if there's two, right? Not if there's one, if there's two. If there's one, it's just gonna look like this. If there's two, I'm gonna duplicate it, right? And then the top one will be like that, and the bottom one I want to still be like, um, have the whole thing so that it shows through underneath. All right. So let's go into um, this and where it's the white point, I'm going to hold down option, click on that stopwatch, and we're gonna write an expression here. And I want this to be 255 is where you want it to start and minus and in parentheses is going to be what you're gonna minus. And I wanna minus it by um, how much you're gonna split it, right? So if there's if there's three layers that I want to minus a third. And so how I'm going to do that is 255 divided by this comp dot num layers. So that is how much you're supposed to remove it. Now, which, how many of these, right? So if there's two of them, I need to remove one of them. If there's three of them, I need to remove two of these, right? So then I'm gonna times this by and then I'm going to go this comp dot num layers minus index. And I might have to do a one. I can't remember. Let's check it out. All right. So now what we have here is this bottom layer. You can see it's 255. When I duplicate it, it's still 255. But this top one should be 255. That's wrong. <laughs> okay. Let's see. All right, I think I don't need to minus that one. 
Let's try that again. Yeah, 255. It's still 255, but this top one, there, it removed some. Perfect. Now you can see it's starting to remove them, right? So we got the top next, and it's building them in. That's exactly what we want. Okay, I'm going to delete those ones. Back to this one. Now, the next thing we're going to do is as we do that, we want them to increase the mosaic, right? So how we're going to do that is a very similar way, but we're going to use some fancier math. So we're going to go into this horizontal block. And first thing I need to do is I actually need to uh, cut this in half. So I'm going to do eight times. And in there, we're going to do math.power, which is kind of an ex exponential thing. And then in the parentheses, two comma index. And what that does is the index is, is one. So two to the power of one is two times eight. But when I double that, it's going to go 32, 64, 128. And that's how you make it. So it's constantly doing a subdivision as it goes down. I'm going to copy this. And then for the the next, uh, we have the horizontal blocks, but we also need to do it to the vertical, vertical blocks. That's a nine. So you actually had 4.5. Um, times that. Okay, so this should be pretty close. As we do this, you could look already, you can see it's doing what we want it to do. That was so quick. It's just a couple of uh, quick expressions and we are building this. Now, if we take one of these one at a time, you can see, let's turn on the transparency. You can see those are just those corners. And then you can see these. Look, the squares are half the size. These squares are even smaller, and they get even more and more refined as you go in. Really cool. That's a really kind of a cool effect. Now, the other thing I wanted to add to this, I'm going to show you some fun things we can do this, is this grid effect. Now, as we add this grid, um, by default, it's set to none. Let's set that to normal. And the grid is a little bit different the way it works, um, but it, we can we can work with it. First, I want to change this up here where it's size for, from height and width sliders. I want to take the anchor point and put that 0, 0. And then this width, I'm going to click on the stopwatch. It opens it up down here. And I want this width to be 1920 divided by horizontal blocks. And you can see it fits it just fine. And then the height is always the same as the width on these. So I'm just going to pick whip the height to the width. And then that should make it just fine. And let's see what happens when we duplicate this, right? See, it automatically changed it to fit those other things. This is really kind of a cool effect. One thing I do want is I want, um, I don't want it to be so thick. So but what we can do it's on this grid with the border. Right now it's at five. I'm going to stopwatch, click on that. And let's just do index. And let's divide that by four. Remember how it subdivides into four every time. And at first, you're not going to see a lot. But as we add it, you can see that these, these lines are all staying roughly the same size as it subdivides down. That's a really kind of a cool effect. What we can also do is where we have that we can just add to this say you know plus two so it starts off with a thicker but it's only going to increase by that same amount i like it really thin though so we'll just leave it how it is so one last thing i want to show you is what if we want this to appear 3d we can actually use that same index uh, trick where we're duplicating things and instead of um, removing things or changing the mosaic, we can push it in 3D space. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the position of this and we have, right, 3D space. So we want it as, we want it to get closer, right? So, but we want the ones on top to be closer, the ones on bottom to be further away. So we have to do the number of layers trick again because the top layer is always index one, 
bottom layer is where you keep on adding to it. And so we want the top layers to move. So let's go uh, value plus, and in here we're going to do a, an array of three numbers. See, we don't want it to move the x and y, just the z value. So we're going to add 0 to the x, 0 to y. And then to the z value, we are going to do this trick again. In parentheses, do this comp dot num layers minus index minus 1. I think we have to do it this time. Let's see how that works. And then again, take this whole thing and let's times that by like 20. All right. Nope, no minus one. There it is. Sometimes you do, sometimes you don't. All right, so now what happens, I'm going to duplicate this. And it's going the wrong way. All right, I see what I did there. I plussed it. I, I need to go into negative. All right, there we go. So minus, the value minus it. And every time you can see it's going to add it. Now I'm going to open up a camera. So I'll just hit C on the keyboard and opens up my camera settings. And I can turn this and you can see it has a bit of that 3D look. I'm going to go and I'm going to turn off um, that grid just so we can see it a little bit better. I mean, it almost is looking like it's like voxels or something. It's really a cool effect. Now, some things with this, it's not going to work for every footage. Um, this happens to work really well because of how it looks. Um, we have the background is very light and things kind of get darker more towards the foreground. So it's just, since it's using value, that's how it works, right? Uh, the darker things are going to be more forward. The lighter things are going to be further back. Very cool effect. All right. So that let's uh, reset camera view. Let's just do the duplicate, 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 and it's creating just this variable pixel thing. It's really, really cool. Hope you learned some cool stuff. And uh, and really, the, the key to this, let's go into these expressions one last time, is on this horizontal one is we're doing a, a power effect, right? So it, it's a exponential. Because what we want is basically it to double every time. So going from 16 to 32 to 64 to 128, we want that to double every time. And that's how you do that. And then the other one is in this extract is we are basically taking a, a portion of it away based on how many layers there are. So I hope you learned some stuff. Let me know. I'd love to hear your thoughts on this. And uh, make sure if you have any friends that are maybe closeted After Effects users, be sure to share this with them. Thanks, and we'll see you next time.